In 1878, a young widow, Mrs. Charlotte Anderson, hired a governess to educate a small group of children, including her own, in the front parlour of her home in Bulleen Road, Kew. The new school grew quickly, and in 1882, Charlotte Anderson was able to purchase a larger property called Edgecombe in nearby Studley Park Road. With 11 bedrooms and spacious grounds, this house was well suited to accommodating both boarders and day girls in comfort and style. At this time, Charlotte Anderson named her flourishing school Wrighton, after Wrighton Eleven Towns, a small cluster of villages in Shropshire, England, where her great-grandfather had been vicar. In 1888, when ill health forced Mrs Anderson to retire, she sold Wrighton to her friend, the well-respected teacher, Miss Eliza Bromby. The far-sighted Miss Bromby did not buy the freehold of the Edgecombe property, choosing instead to move Wrighton to temporary premises in Princess Street, while one of Victoria's first purpose-built schoolhouses was built for her on the corner of a Beckett and Barry Streets queue. The school moved there in 1889. Its red brick building still survives. Miss Bromby retired in 1910. Under Wrighton's longest serving principal, Miss Hilda Daniel, the school moved to the splendid Tarring in Selborne Road in 1920. The house is now named for its former owners, the Henty family. Once a student, then a teacher at Wrighton, Miss Daniel assumed the headship in 1913 and retired in 1952. During her tenure, she oversaw the introduction of the house system in 1924 and Wrighton's transition to become a company school overseen by a school council in 1930. Over the decades, Wrighton has prospered in its Selborne Road home. Around Henty House, the grounds and buildings have continuously evolved to meet the changing educational needs of our students. Throughout, Wrighton has remained free of state and church control, sometimes by accident, sometimes by design. Today we continue to celebrate the fine traditions and our proud reputation as one of Melbourne's most successful independent girls' schools.